chasing down something big. So something small like this is perfect. Um, other things that I, that I nose hook, you can use, I do a lot of my own pouring of soft plastic. Uh, I pour these beaver style baits. This is a hoghead bait sow tail. Um, I'll use it. I'll tear off this the profile of a, of a little crayfish. I'll nose hook it, but you do want to weight something like this. Um, I use these, I make my own little lead discs that I crazy glue, there's the crazy glue again, or crazy glue to the bottom. You can use suspend dots, um, or another way, and I'll get to why you want to weight them. Another way to do it that's really quick inexpensive method for doing it. I 
works with the with the swap sticks as well. These are brads. These are little three quarter inch long brads. And what I'll do is I'll just insert them very shallowly along the bottom. So it's real close to the, the bottom on one side. And what that'll do is it'll it'll always flip over so it's it's landing belly first and then you nose hook it just like that and it keeps that hook up out of out of trouble otherwise it'll tumble in current and it, and it likes to snag on the belly whoa we got fish jumping right here let's see if we eat this like i said suspend dots will work ones I make are, are from a lead pot and I just I do the lead drippings and trim it and crazy glue it on there. Um, I'll show you a couple other creations that I've made, but you have the tools with the, with weighting it and all sorts of different things. Here's a, a larger Tail. It's just a little bit, you know, I'll tear that off. A little bit bigger crayfish profile. That'll work. I'll make some of my own. Uh, here's a little mad tub. Again, with a lead weight on the bottom. So, there's all sorts of, of different things that you can do with nose hooking soft plastics uh, but the bigger soft plastics you definitely want to to have uh, weighted but it's basically you know <coughs> the uh, jig fisherman's drop shot you know it's 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 something that you fish on the bottom uh, and the great thing is those biggest smallmouth really tend to pick things up nice and soft so that you don't you know, it, it just kind of goes soft on you. They don't always thump it and you know right away. And with a tube, you can feel that, you know, on the days that they're really aggressive, you can feel that thump. But more times than not, and the biggest smallmouth that I've caught on tubes have been cases where I was only about, you know, 5% sure that there was something going on there. And, uh, and I set because hook sets are free. Um, <coughs> with this rig, that situation where you kind of feel that throb uh, with a tube, he'll grab it and he'll feel you on the other end of the line and drop it and then you're swinging on nothing. This, as soon as he, he starts pulling with it a little bit, that tiny little hook gets in him and he's on. Uh, that's another reason you want the light action rod for this uh, this technique because with a, with a stiffer, you know, uh, heavier action rod not only will you not cast a small bait like this as far um, when you're fighting a fish they tend to come off on those heavier baits but 